Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the owner's equity statement or the retained earnings statement specifically. We're working on the simplified explaining of the financial statements. So we just got finished with the video and you'll see in the link below we did, you know, what is an income statement? Well now we're to what is owner's equity or what is the retained earnings statement. Now retained earnings is all the previous year's net income minus any dividends. So we calculate the new or the ending retained earnings by taking beginning retained earnings plus any net income minus any dividends and we end up with ending retained earnings. Now this is kind of the middle statement between the income statement, the retained earnings, and the balance sheet. So why do we do the income statement first? Because we want to know net income and we bring it over to the retained earnings statement. Why do we do retained earnings next? Because we need to know the ending retained earnings and we take that to the balance sheet. All right, so let's start with fresh numbers here. And let's say that we have for Travis t-shirts, we say retained earnings statement for the month ending. And it's always for a period. So this is for a month, could be for a quarter or for a year. It could be for the year ending December 31st or whatever. All right, so we know that our beginning retained earnings is 500. To that, we're going to add net income. Now, we just calculated the income statement over here, and the net income is 980. And I just reproduce that here so we can be reminded of what that net income is. So net income is 980. We're going to add the beginning plus the net income. That makes our owner's equity go up. Remember, owner's equity is what the owners have a claim to. So anything the business earns, it gets to keep and it's owned by the owners. So now we have dividends. Dividends we, we know are $150. So we have 150 as our dividends. We're gonna subtract that out and we're gonna be at 14, uh, 1480 minus the 150. So our ending retained earnings is gonna be 1,330. That means we started with a business at the beginning of the month. We had kept retained earnings. We had held on to returning uh, earnings to uh, grow our business of 500 and now we have 1330. So that's how you do the retained earnings statements always going to be add the net income, subtract out dividends and we have our new balance. We'll carry that forward to the balance sheet on the next video. Thanks for watching. Good luck in accounting.